Juice Robinson. Boom, Juice. Oh. Hey, what the hell? And something just flew all over. And now it could be nap time for the champ. Go to sleep. What's the leg? Is this it? To history is made in San Jose. Juice, you ruin my title run. Now I'm gonna ruin everything that evolves around you. You talk about being a man, you ain't no damn man. Does Tony Storm think you're a man for doing what you did to me? Because at Capital Collision, I'm gonna do something a little bit unusual. I, 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 I wanna personally pay for a ticket so Tony Storm can sit front row and watch me punish her husband. It takes oh. a long, oh, what? What? Juice Robinson attacking Fred Russell from behind. And, and Ju Juice Robinson. And oh, oh my God. God. On the crown of the skull of Fred Rosser. Juice Robinson. Oh, oh my goodness. The cheap Holy shot. Holy crap. To a defenseless Fred Rosser. With a hand loaded full of silver dollars. Oh, look candle at shots, candy. The STF chicken wing combination. Oh, no. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. It's oh, Juice. And Juice Robinson. Rock hard. Oh. Oh. Left hand from God. Following a trip to the bank. Maybe academic at this point. And it's over. Fred Rosser, you're trying to get in my head. You try to bring my wife into it. You're trying to get me hotter, more angry. No, you saw what happens when you bring up a man's wife. Feel the stitches behind your ear. Twist your neck. Remember that pile driver that I gave you. Juicy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for involving your wife in this mess. I deserve to be dropped on my head. I deserve to have the roll of quarters rip open my ear. I deserve those shots with the chair. The chair your wife was supposed to be sitting in. But Juice, I gotta tell you, the beatdown did something to me. I liked it because I got to see that rage in your eyes because it was the same rage I had when you cost me the strong open weight championship. That's why I reserved the seat for your wife, Tony Storm, in DC, but she didn't show up, Juice. Why is that? My wife doesn't even know who you are. I humored your request. I said, hey, Tony, you want to come to the New Japan show because Fred Rosser said he bought you a ticket to sit ringside so you could watch him beat my ass. And you know what she said, Fred? She said, who? I said, Fred Rosser. She said, who? That resurgence, we're getting our match. No more setbacks, no more delays. It's going down and a no disqualification, anything goes street fight. My wife's not coming to resurgence. But what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a Juice Robinson who doesn't give a flying about the rules, and there are no rules. I don't care if I get suspended again. I don't care if I get fired from New Japan. You're leaving with three boots, two on your feet, and one in your ass as a lifetime reminder of how badly Mr. No Days Off put a whooping on that ass of yours. Get ready. It's time to go to work with Mr. No Days Off, and I'm coming in rock hard, and you're not gonna like it. Fred Rosser, I am going to f kill you. Daiyoshi, no CQ Street Fight Match. Shikaku Seigen, Ippon Shoubo Karaibas. Well, they've come to a head here tonight. A street fight here in Long Beach. What makes things amazing to me, Veda, is that this man, Juice Robinson, so intertwined right now with Bullet Club Black and Gold. In AEW, trying to find his way there with Jay White, shooting with Ricky Stark. And all his attention should be diverted there. 
but it's been Fred Rosser to get inside of his mind, get inside of his head. But it's almost an eye for an eye at this point because Chief Robinson getting Rosser out of the tournament to crown the number one contender for the United States title. And then it was Rosser seeking revenge. documented in that video package there, Veda, but, but of all the things to be paying attention to, Robinson's focus and ire has been drawn directly to Fred Ross. Yeah, and you can see how focused Juice is. We took the time during that video package to, to take the turnbuckle pads off of the ring and replace them with some doors and chairs. There's steel chairs on the outside of the ring. There's just a number of, of weapons. I mean, it's all legal here in this street fight. Yeah, it's a, it does not look like a safe environment. And Juice may not admit to this, but Fred Rosser is in Juice's head. And, and that's what's so strange about it, Alex, because over the over the years that we've gotten to know Fred Rosser, Rosser's somebody that, that's not afraid to fight by the rules, be proud of fighting by the rules. But one of the things we're proud of Fred Rosser, the first openly gay IWGP champion. He's the New Japan Strong Openweight champion, the first man in New Japan to to hold the title as an openly well, out hold man. On. Wait, Wait a second. And and to him and the, this is so well, these are the students of the NJPW Academy. What are they doing out here? And and to surrounding the ring. Yeah, go ahead. To be an out champion, and, and then to, to to post a photo with Juice's wife and making the comment that he did. Saying, I, I think I'm straight now, almost insinuating that Rosser has eyes for Juice's wife. It's, 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 it's incredible. It's not the Fred Ross. I think Juice is in, in Fred's head just as much as Fred's in Juice's head. Yeah, for sure. Look, I mean, listen, this is Juice Robinson. When you, when you go up against a uh, guy like Juice Robinson, Juice is going to take you through the mud. And Fred Rosser, he may not be able to admit to it, but his desire to win is slightly more than it is to be a role model. And he is willing to go down that path and get his hands dirty. And, and I gotta say, I, I, I love this side of Ed Russell. I mean, he's not afraid to go to those depths to get the victory, to settle a score. Well, and you see, the, as Veda aptly pointed out, the students of the New Japan Academy, I have to assume, Veda, that they're here tonight because you never know where Bullet Club Black and Gold is going to be. We have seen that Juice Robinson will stoop to any level to punish Fred Rosser. But to me, there's something else significant about this. You mentioned Fred Rosser being a role model, and he said he is a trainer at the New Japan Academy. He has all of his students out here watching him. It looks like they are, it, it's, a, it's symbolic to me there. They're heading now to the back. To just show what an impact Red Rosser has. He has people who have his back. He has a support system. And, I, and he sends them back. It's almost like he had a monster to, to let you know that he's got, he's got, he's got support, like you said. In case of Chief Robinson's buddy, show up. That was there supporting him, and that's who's coming through this NJPW Academy. The future is very bright. Oh, yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, well, Juice is ready with the kendo stick. I mean, he, he doesn't. Well, Ross has got a chain. Yeah, Ross has a gigantic chain. Out here looking like Hercules. <laughs> and, yeah, this is. But Hercules never used it like the ways that Rosser intends to use it, I have to imagine. Look, I, I'm going to let you guys know you should prepare for this. You should prepare for your. Just prepare. It's, it's gonna be a little unsafe. It's gonna get a little crazy. Oh, and we're all oh. swinging a miss. Double leg takedown with the punches, and Fred that, Rosser. And that might be the last wrestling hold we see. Wrestling move here, Alex. Yeah, and Juice now on top and reversing oh, Fred Rosser with the right. And just those those right hands, both men coming in with tape fists, preparing for the violence. A, a waist lock, body lock there. And Ross, oh, goodness gracious. Man. Right for the cojones. Right for the cojones oh. and the chop. Tell you what, Baron Von Raschke credited with inventing the claw. I don't think he ever did one like that, Veda. Well, now Rosser 
Well, oh, 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 my God. Walter fires back out of the corner, but but he ran into that chair, and then again, keep in mind, keep in mind that every time they hit the corner, the turf buckle pads have been removed. And we are in the danger zone right now. Yes, yes we are. You get, you guys, watch out. I will do my best to protect you, but please be careful. These two like, I mean, this is... Kozlov, when, when they came over here, you were already, like, shoving in front of Ian uh, to, like, hide. I, I'm not no, sure. No, no, no. I was, I oh, wasn't right hiding. I, just, eyes. I was just trying to put inanimate objects in front of me just so they have another weapon to use. Well, I am going to stay tethered oh, to the goodness. table. Oh, goodness. Watch they're out, coming watch right, out. They're oh. coming right at us here. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, Close line. Watch out. Oh, Greg here. Lesser's right in front of us. Oh, yeah. But he's separated the barricades, a chair in hand, and there's play. There's oh, goodness. Oh, man. He's not, he's not playing. He's not playing. Oh. Emotions are running high. Now, again, separating the barricades, heading back to ringside as Juice Robinson just, just crawls away. Juice is headed My goodness. towards the back. Appears to be headed toward the entrance ramp. Yeah, but he, he did not escape. As our staff here. Placing the and listen, if I'm Juice Robinson, I don't hit back towards the end. We know that all of Fred Ross's students are back yeah. here, too. Well, that's that's just as good of a strategy for Ross. Oh, goodness, and Rosser has Juice. Oh, oh God. And, and you can see there's, there's like a little carpet that we put down for the entranceway, but outside of that, it is just the floor. It's, it's carpet, yeah, that's just a little carpet for a sex, but that is a rough landing. Ooh, man, I don't know about you, but my nerves are shocked right now. I mean, these guys were in front of us. That was scary. And then Robinson here, scooping a oh, slam. Oh, he's not in the course. And Vade, if you recall, that Irish whip toward the beginning of the match was right on that lower back, the chair connecting. The chair connecting, the exposed turnbuckles. This is not good news for Fred Rosser. Oh, and now Juice is putting the boots to him here on the outside. Oh! Oh! God. A senton with Rosser against Sandwich between Juice Robinson and the floor. Robinson again continuing this onslaught. Oh, maybe looking to stun gun him on the railing. Oh, goodness! Oh, first. Oh, my God. But again, this is all legal. It's a street fight. It has come to this. I mean, we really, we really didn't have a choice, guys. I mean, these two have been fighting all over arenas. Juice got himself oh. suspended. Oh no. And, and go, going to the belt here. Oh god, that, that brings me back to my childhood. I right. I mean, there's some uncomfortable memories with the belt. As oh, oh goodness, oh. Rosser. Let's not forget, I mean, uh, Chris Robinson has busted Fred Rosser open, you know, behind the ear. He's got stitches behind that ear. That is a weak area. Certainly does. It was Robinson who cost Rosser that strong championship against Kenta. It was then Rosser who put the chair, inviting Tony Storm, Juice Robinson's wife, oh goodness, around oh, the neck. And that, that provoked oh. Juice Robinson oh. to attack Fred Rosser. Cost him a shot in the tournament. Absolutely. Oh, God. Oh, God. And right around the, he's got that hand in there, which is allowing him to breathe somewhat. But now, just choking. Look at this. That is rough. That is rough. He's pulling with everything. That belt is tight around the neck of Fred Rosser. Very hard to breathe. When you can't breathe, you don't have oxygen. You don't have any strength. You, your muscles are not getting what they need. You can't get any other. Oh, look oh at him. Oh God! That in the neck. We got to, oh. we got to start to be worried about the neck of Fred Rosser here. And there is an ambulance here. At, uh, at the pyramid, oh, God. The pyramid. And, and thank God for the the fingers being slightly inside of that belt, Veda, or else Rosser would be, would be yeah, out. Yeah, Rosser is doing everything he can to lessen some of the impact, but Robinson now takes the belt off, but I, oh. I don't think it's to give Fred Rosser any relief. The shirt torn. Oh, blowing his nose. Oh, right in his butt again. Well, we're going to have to censor that on okay. the replay. Oh, uh, it's fine if you want to throw that back. Whoever 
ever caught that, you can just get rid of that. That's fine. It's like Citizens Bank Park and opposing team home run. He can put that oh, right no. in the trash over he here. He has that belt in hand once again. No, we, now this we don't need to see here. Oh, goodness. Ross are trying to cover oh. up. Much of an effect. An uncomfortable sight here. Oh. <laughs> As we're only five minutes in, it feels like we've seen a lifetime of violence here in Long Beach. Oh, goodness. Oh. Just unloading, unrelenting here. No, no. Let's, let's be clear. Juice Robinson is unhinged. He is always unpredictable but this is a new level of violence and he is he's waving he's blowing kisses he said to tony is she, is she watching this one i would not want to watch this this confounds me though because if somebody i mean if somebody insulted my wife if they put a chair out in front saying they're gonna they're gonna beat me right in front of my wife i i, I would it's almost understandable alex it's almost Sarah, I mean, good ask for a ticket uh, to see the show uh, but it, in that situation, would you tell Sarah to just, just stay away? Don't even watch this. It seems like Tony's watching. Juice was like all the other. He was giving her a shout out. The question is, is Tony watching Juice? Or is Tony watching Fred? Whoa, 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 whoa. What did, Juice going to his pocket here. Oh, is it that fistful of quarters? We've seen that oh, before. Oh, goodness. And that's that's what cost Fred the his oh, title. Yeah, they're, they're spilling all over. He's got some cash. More than he can keep in his hand. Oh, no. Well, we, yeah, yeah, this he's going to end things right here with this left hand from God. Like you said, God's love, he split open oh, Fred does. Rosser with this, but wait. Too much time there, there Rosser. He goes. The corner's going to fly. Talked about the damage to Rosser's neck. Juice Robinson's head hit pretty hard. There was a, a clear point of impact on the on the crown of Robinson's head there. Oh, and this is giving Rosser the opportunity to recover just a little bit as, as much as you can at this point. And he spied the belt. Now he oh. has it in his hands. Well, turnabout's fair play, and I fully endorse this. After the beating Robinson gave Rosser. Oh my God. Ripping the oh. shirt off of Juice, and I, I think he's planning something. You know, hey, Fred Rosser is capable of violence too. We've seen him in battles. You push him to the limit, he's gonna give it back to you. Oh! Oh! And this has turned into a good old fashioned country whipping match. Well, and, and throughout this rivalry, we have seen Fred Rosser just go to these depths of aggression. He's usually so cool and calm oh. and collected. I think that is why he is able to pull on these reserves of violence because they're just, just oh. sitting and waiting under the surface. Oh, and now with a handful of face. And now dragging Robinson. Robinson's got to worry about oh his neck God. here. Able to get those. Robinson able to get his hands between the belt and his throat. Barely. Yeah, if there's anybody that's. Oh, a, oh no. Oh, oh my goodness. God. And Robinson. Oh and Robinson is suspended. He's trying to stay on that apron to relieve some of the pressure because he is too high for his feet to touch the ground. And, and thank God he's got his hand in there as well. Risking permanent damage. And if there's anybody, I, mean, I gotta say, Fred Rosser is a hell of an accountant. He knows how to give receipts back. He gives that receipt back. He knows how to give it back to you. And right now, Juice is on the outside. Ooh. Floored. Fred Russell right in front of us. We're in the danger zone. Oh, Fred Russell. And the trash can Fred here. Oh, and that trash can is full of garbage. I Certainly is. Fans have been using it all night. Oh, oh, no. That's filthy. That's filthy. And Rosser. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That is a concussion. <laughs> oh, and now Rosser's tossed that can. And, and Kozlov, you've never I'm, been one to, to root on Fred Rosser. All of a sudden, this violence is I, inspiring just, you. I'm just seeing a, a side of Fred Rosser. I, it's inspiring. Oh, oh and, and Robinson's cut open. He's, oh, God. That trash can slashed open the forehead of Juice Robinson. God. Robinson. Oh. Oh. Robinson threw that punch really wildly. Oh, God. man! Oh, and Juice 
Alex Robinson is, no pun intended, really juiced here. I mean, he is gushing. And right in front of us now. Oh, watch out, watch out! Oh, sir. No! The edge of the steel chair colliding with the temple, maybe even the eye, the orbital bone of Juice Robinson. And the blood in the eyes. Oh, Rita, you said it, that left hand from God attempt as Rosser is, is completely unhinged at this point, looking for more. That left hand from God came nowhere close. And, and I don't know if it was the blood in the eyes, I don't know if it was the disorientation. Rosser, has a, is, that a, is that a stop sign? Where do you get a stop sign? Well, I mean, uh, there is. Oh, my goodness. Long Beach is known to have a lot of uh, roundabouts without any traffic lights, so uh, it makes sense well, that there we, would be a we, stop sign. We apologize for any collisions or, or traffic incidents that have occurred as a result of uh, Fred Rosser taking that stop sign, but Juice Robinson, there is a puddle of blood. Yeah. Ian Alex, oh, there is a puddle nice. of blood. Oh, and we're going back. We are here. At And the blood is dripping down the forehead. Oh, and I hope Robinson <laughs> you, you, wasn't looking to become a father anytime watch soon. Watch out, guys, watch out. Oh, 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 oh my goodness! And I, I have now been, oh, oh God, the blood flying! And Fred Rosser is possessed! And this is the second time in New Japan that I've been shot with blood at the hands of a Juice Robinson bout. Did it go in your mouth again? Oh, God. And Fred Rosser is looking under the ring. I don't even know what could possibly be under there. It feels like we've gone through every possible weapon. Meanwhile, uh, Juice Robinson is, is dripping blood oh onto God. the floor. There's a bloody handprint. Oh, God, and they are, they are Can right. you see the welts they coming up Juice on the back of Juice Robinson? Oh, oh. oh my God. God. Oh. Fred Rosser trying to, to shatter the nose. Oh, on a hard right. And shots again. Just right in that cut. Maybe looking to get a referee stoppage. Expanding. Oh my goodness. Rosser just wiping the blood of Juice Robinson, tattooing his own chest with the blood of his enemy. So, so brutal. I have never seen anything like this from Fred Rosser. And now Juice is... Juice is managed to as, crawl inside. As, as Rosser is looking for something else, we see Robinson. There's still, there's still trash everywhere. Trash, blood spilled everywhere. Oh my God, he found the ladder. Well, that ladder's under there to help the, the fixtures, the LED boards that we have. Oh my God. And Rosser, oh God, they are, and it's they are. a metal ladder. Juice Robinson is just staggering around ringside. Once again, right in front of us here, oh. kick to the midsection. It's Rosser grabbing the hair of Robinson. Oh no, oh, oh no. Oh, oh double no. leg takedown. Looking to, to flip Robinson. No. Oh my God. And Juice Robinson goes head first into the steel ladder. And you have to imagine that further opened up that cut. It is, there's chaos yeah. all around us. What appears to be a, a book? What is going on? What? Was that in the trash? It... Oh! Oh, oh God, no! 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 Oh. No! no. And, and that, was that is filthy! That certainly, that, whatever, that cake? Don't, don't do that was to that cake. Was that a tiramisu? Don't do that to cake. 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Was that a Long Beach cupcake? And as we see, Rosser now stalking Robinson. This match is a twist and turns aplenty as the violence propelling both men to go to depths they've never gone before. Now, we have gotten back into the ring, but the ring is full of weapons. And then just again. Oh, look at this. And we mentioned before they took off the turnbuckle covers. And now Fred Rosser is using that exposed metal to just grate into the forehead of Juice Robinson whose beard is full of, oh. what did you say that was? Perhaps a famous Long Beach cupcake? Yeah, I think it's a Cal State Long Beach cupcake made from the cafeterias here. As we see oh, oh, Rosser. No. That is disgusting. There is garbage juice in there. What? And, and well, juice in there I, I was going to say. <laughs> and, and there is the chain. The chain. Oh. 
And Ian, that is the chain that Fred Rosser himself brought to the ring. This was his oh. intention. Oh! Oh! God! And not only the physical impact, but the concussive sounds. Well, we talked about Juice Robinson's left hand from God. This is a right hand from Fred Rosser wrapped yeah. in a chain. The right hand from Hercules. And right hand of vengeance. The chain. Oh, goodness. Oh, and he, he could cause permanent hearing loss here. And look at the blood dripping out from underneath the trash can. I think Juice was further opened up. Well, I mean, oh, and the longer. Oh, oh my God. Disorienting this is. Juice Robinson, there's no way he even knows where he is. And the longer we go, the longer that we uh, head into this match, the more bloodlust there is. Oh, oh my goodness. Fred Rosser hasn't even been, been looking for pinfalls, hasn't been looking to end this. He's looking to end Juice Robinson, period. Well, I mean, let's, let's, be, let's be honest. Both of these men are trying to end each other. It's kill or be killed. That's the theme of this match. It's got to be over. Uh, it juices. He's not moving at all. The yeah, eyes are open. You can see he's breathing. Well, I, uh, but it, our referee, our official, needs to make a decision here. Well, because Fred, Fred Rosser is now pulling it's Juice dead weight. back up. Just dead weight. Rosser planting Juice up to the top rope. And this is getting uncomfortable, folks. Robinson can't defend himself here. Uh, let's also, let, let's remember the motivation here. And uh, let's remember the motivation. It was Juice Robinson who cost Fred Ross oh. an opportunity to, to fight for the uh, U.S. Open, uh, the U.S. Championship. And before that, he cost him the title in, in San Jose. I mean, this has gone on for so long. But, I mean, it, Ross I crossed the line, too, calling out Juice's wife. I, I don't know that we needed to go this far, though. I, I... Coming into this street fight, Ian, I thought that this, this rivalry had to end tonight. Now I'm thinking that it, one of these men's careers is going to end oh, tonight. That is the Oh, God. It, it oh, maybe... no. oh, no! Oh, no! Come on! No. Oh! I've never seen anything oh, my God. like this! Oh, come on, Fred! You're going too far, Fred! Uh, pulling with the chain, that uh, neck bent backwards. And, and our referee's got to make a decision here. Well, I mean, he's asking Juice if he wants to give up, but I don't think Juice... I don't think he can respond. I don't, I don't physically think he can respond here. I don't know. I mean, maybe the condition here is as long as you're breathing, you're still in the match. I, that's that's a dangerous game to play, though. That's... Look at Fred is, Fred is wrapping his fist in that chain once again. Look at the blood. Oh. I, I'd have to agree with you. I've, ne I've not seen this level of carnage, this level of violence here in New Japan Pro Wrestling. I mean, I, Fred Russell is... Has and crossed this, the line. And this is a this is a place. This is a place. What? Oh, what? What? Oh, God, is that? It's Tony Storm, but what? It's a like Fred Rosser. Oh. Oh. And Fred oh, Rosser, Tony Storm. Bad words exchanged oh, here. We, we talked about what would happen. did not ask for from Rosser and it crossed the line that I'm even uncomfortable with. Let's not forget Tony Storm just dropped Fred Rosser on his head. Oh, oh hey. no. Hey. no. Oh, he chair out of the way. 
Hey! Rear naked chokehold, there you go. But he has to fight both of them. Both Tony and Juice. Robinson looking for that finishing move. It's, it's Tony Storm. Yeah, Tony doing whatever she can. And, and this chicken wing taught to Rosser by Bob Backlund himself. Ah, what a what a scene. Now Tony, Rosser Tony's looking, scrambling. Looking for the submission. Oh, oh no! Tony went down Picks him hard. Up. Oh, God, Rosser! Planting Robinson. Step oh. over. Into the cross face. Oh. Oh. Oh, and, and Robinson with almost nowhere to go. You can see he's thinking about it. Has to make a decision he's here. Seconds away. Seconds away for victory. I think oh. Juice is gonna try. Oh wait, Tony. Tony's back. Tony is a Tony's a bottler in here. No, 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 no. No! To the back of the skull. Oh, Tony Storm, a glass bottle. That might have come out of that trash can. God, that, that bottle. Cracking it over the head. And now Tony is setting up another door. It, that's a family in unison right now. Can they survive? Oh, my goodness. God. Driving Rosser! Oh man, oh no. That's a, that's a, Juice has that stop sign. Oh! oh. A, and for what was done earlier, I, I fully condone this. The oh. hip attack! That stop sign bent in half. Juice Robinson. And now Tony Storm once again setting up a chair. Just his face against that chair. Swing out DDT. Two, three. Hello, you guys. Juice from his official swingers. What a scene! What a Tony Storm is now covered in Juice's blood. And, and we, we, we talked about what would happen if Tony Storm ever actually did show up. But that was mostly facetious. And I, she actually showed up. I, I certainly didn't imagine that she would show yeah. up and be the deciding factor in this street fight. Such a physical contest. Wow. Oh. That was something. That was something. Both athletes going to darkness that we've never seen them go to before. Look, I mean, I Tony Storm might have had to just save the career. Maybe the life of Juice Robinson, her husband. If it wasn't for her, who knows what Fred Rosser was going to do. So many moments during this bout, during this, this absolute war, where the trajectory of the lives and careers of Robinson and Rosser would have gone in different directions. Rosser, who has been nothing short of a stand-up athlete and champion being drugged to depths that he's never gone to before i i don't like that he kissed storm without her consent i don't like that it's something in in, in this moment of violence it, it took him to a place that i think when he watches this tape back i don't think he's going to be happy that he went there either but we will see what is next in the career the next chapter of fred rosser I'm uh, looking forward to this. I, I like the new chapter, the next chapter of Fred Roster. I mean, I mean, the ring is covered in blood. It is covered in broken glass, bits of skin. And Fred Roster, I, I disagree, Alex. I, I've always loved the passion, the heart of Fred Roster. I'm hoping this was a temporary detour as we see Fred Roster he here. No he had no choice. Going Juice. to depths that I don't think Fred is ever comfortable going to. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, Rosser has got some regrets on kissing Tony Storm. He's, yeah. Oh, there are there are welts all over his body. What a fight! Oh, not a match. God. That was not a match. No. That was not a pro wrestling match. No, no, not at all. That was a fight. That was a war. Also, shout out to our ring crew. 
very quickly getting things reset after that carnage. Disinfecting the ringside area, doing the best they can as quickly as we can. And Mosser, unfortunately, did not count on the two-on-one situation. Nobody did, Ian. No. no one could have imagined that not only would Tony Storm show up here to the pyramid, but like I said, she was essentially another weapon in that street fight. Unbelievable. The biggest event in New Japan Pro Wrestling. January 4th, 2024, Wrestle Kingdom 18 is live in the Tokyo Dome. Tickets are available now worldwide. New Japan Pro Wrestling returns to San Jose, California on Saturday, January 13th, 2024. See the stars of New Japan, including Zack Sabre Jr., Shingo Takagi, Eddie Kingston, Julia, Will Ospreay, Kazuchika Okada, and many more. Be there live for Battle in the Valley at the San Jose Civic. Tickets available now at Ticketmaster. NJPW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? NJPW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the NJPW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for NJPW Academy. All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. Congratulations, Kenta, on another successful title defense. May 3rd, Wrestling Dontaku. You and I, Kenta, how about it? For the New Japan Strong Open Weight. You and me, right here in Japan. It's time. Hikuleo! Let's do it. いつも言ってんだ最近言ってんだけどさ、もう髪切りてんだ俺もいい加減。いい加減髪切りたいの。でもよ、伝わってきたよあいつの気持ち。分かったよ。分かったよ。もし、分かった。俺が負けたら髪
fought here on Japan soil. It's global now. It's not just in the U.S. And it's an open weight. I mean, junior weight, heavyweight, or super heavyweight can challenge for this. And I'll be ready. And I'll be waiting. Distorts the equilibrium of the giant, but a thrust there catches the challenger. Irish whip. Oh, Kenta oh. catches himself. And Kenta heads to the outside. Well, I mean, look, his strategy, whatever it was, it didn't work. So he needs to regroup, he needs to reset, and he's a veteran. He understands 
where he's at. Plan B. Well, his strategy appeared to be getting disqualified in the opening seconds of the bout. He tried to strike Higaleo with the title belt as those massive paws. Oh. He's angry. Oh, oh. Kenta. Higaleo's throat driven into that top rope. Oh, and now, oh no. And Higaleo's oh. palm driven into the chest of Kenta. Sounded like a baseball off the bat of Bryce Harper. Oh, oh no, please. That, that is hard to watch. Going. Oh, back to back like Harper and Trey Turner. Look, it's one thing to hear it and to see it. It's another oh. thing to feel it. And trust me, that does not feel good. A double-handed chop to the back of Kenta, who crawls, crawls into the corner. And look at, oh. as you can see, Hikaleo had the hand up. He was calling for the godsend. Oh, wait, wait. And, and Hikaleo appears wait to be. Minute. No, no, no. no Kenta no, grabbed. No. It appeared as though. Uh, yeah, I know it appeared like that. Oh, oh, that was the point. And again, Kenta. Taito, poor Taito is out now. Oh, oh come on. Oh, he blocked it. What? Hikaleo blocked the low blow from Kenta. Oh, to the eyes. Kenta, what? one of the dirtiest oh, fighters in wow. New Japan. Whoa, wow. and now sent to the floor. I mean, put, with the referee laid out, I, I guess. Well, this is a, all of this is going to slide for now. This is a hallmark of Kenta's bouts here. Okay, Hikaleo with that shirt. Is he going to try to choke Kenta again with it? Uh, Taito is nowhere to be seen. I mean, he took a rough bump there. Now Kenta is holding himself up by the guardrail. We see the welted back. Oh, oh you, that, that paw print on the back of the neck of Kenta. And a matching one to the front there. I, I'm impressed with Hikaleo. He came prepared for all of the tricks of uh, Kenta here tonight. Certainly oh. did. Ooh, it led him to victory. Yeah, now they're just, they're fighting all the way up the entranceway. And Hikaleo, those massive claws, driven to the spine of Kenta. Hikaleo really taking his time, letting Kenta bounce back towards him and then sending him reeling again. Kenta, Kenta fell through the curtain. He certainly did. And Hikaleo, I don't know if we can get a camera to the back here. Well, there it is. There it is. come. As we are in, the, we are literally quite in the dark here. I'm being told our camera crew, that's as far as our floor cam can make it. Well, at this point, unfortunately. Well, if they, if well, they make their way uh, through the curtain back, I mean, we're going to have to call music. Here, here the, wait a second. And, and Kenta oh. emerging. I, I mean, when Kenta went through the curtain, he, he just sort of stumbled through. He was, he was in a distance. Hikaleo was, was, yeah, was in control, but where is he? Well, we know. And, now, and, and he's bringing Taito back in. Oh, and, and he, he's. Oh, and, oh and, wait a and second. Hikaleo. He's, Hikaleo. he's calling for the. He wants. He wants Taito to, he, to he's count. Weak, he's weakened at Bernie and Taito here. Uh, Hikaleo is angry as hell, and uh, Taito is still and, unable to get himself. Yeah, and to your point, Alex, he, he's angry as hell, but he can barely walk. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh. Yeah, we don't know what happened back there, but we do know that Kenta fights dirty and with the cameras off. I, I don't know. Vader, let's not uh, go jump to assumptions. I mean, uh, clearly, uh, Kenta handled Hikaleo backstage. We just couldn't see him. What, with a pipe? Like, how did, I, I how mean, did he? With his hands and feet. You know he's got lethal oh, kicks. And, it, and look at Hik Hikaleo could barely walk. Oh, but he caught that kick. It can't be lethal oh. if you don't connect. Oh, oh no. goodness. Big open hand again. Yeah, but we are only five minutes deep into this match. Hikaleo just lumbering now. What? He's so quick, he's so agile, but he's he's barely moving right now. And Hikaleo with Kenta up, the champion with the challenger in hand. This is a dangerous situation here. And you can't take him home. Oh no, oh no. Oh, oh God. Stress. Stress. First. Yeah, and this is again, this is, we already had the street fight tonight. Yeah, this is Kenta trying to take things to the outside.
metal object such as a rail. I mean, this is dangerous. Who knows if Kenta can even breathe? Oh, my thoughts are with him right now. That's he disputable. Went for the eyes, whatever happened in the back. And this is just a, just a, an abbreviated list and, and the of only, atrocities. The, the only reason that we have not seen a count out is Taito is still barely able to come to, to life, come to consciousness. On Poor more, little Taito. On, on more than one occasion, you're right, Alex. They've been on the outside for oh. over a minute. As Kenta. Looks like our official Taito is. What's going on here? And going to that knee. That's a smart strategy. That's that's one oh, way to pick apart a giant. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, God. And, and look at this. Kenta was rammed so hard in the guardrail, Ian. They, they came apart. Those guardrails, you can see. They're, they're... And, and the, the point of those stairs went into the spine Ooh. of Kenta. Oh, God. Just those, those different pressure points of impact. As Hickel, oh no, Jeez. not another. Again, with the corner of the stairs. Oh God. And Taito's got to make a decision here. He, he's instructing Hickaleo and Kenta to get back into the ring. There's, as you have aptly you pointed going? out, where the railing became disconnected. Oh God, is this, I is see him unfolding a, a table? This is a table that somehow managed to escape expect to see. Things have gone awfully personal here. Taito holding his head. Too much, Hikaleo, too much. You know, and, and he's trying his best. I don't know if you're gonna get a six foot 10 man over 350 pounds to go back to the ring on his own accord if he doesn't want to. Oh no, again. Oh, look at no. Godsend here, Godsend. No, that, that will end oh. his career. And, and trying to get Kenta up. No, 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 no. Taito, stop this right now. Stop Hikaleo from doing this. And trying to end the career of the fans are all for it. Oh. No, no respect whatsoever. Oh, he stopped just like you asked for. Yeah, no, I, I, he stopped, but I, I think he's it's less of a stop and a reposition. He's got crazy thoughts in his mind. I'm looking at those stairs. 
You said 10 feet in wrestling, and there's hyperbole. He appears to be at least 10 feet, if not 12 or 15. And you have to keep in mind, Hikalea went crashing through that table onto the floor. And Kenta, Kenta is crawling on his hands and knees. Oh, wait a second. Two. Taito. Taito. Taito has had enough. Ooh. He made it back to the ring and he is starting to count. Six. Hikalea laying motionless. Seven. Kenta. Fighting and crawling to try and beat the 20 count here in New Japan. And we see movement now from Ekaleo. The giant is rising. 13. We're at 13. 14. 15. 15. seconds left. 16. Ekaleo is far. 17. And Kent's able to get back. 18. Champion, be prepared. Because after they heal, I'm coming for you. Eddie Kingston. Wow, the, and the last time we saw Eddie here in New Japan, he defeated Jay White. He defeated the leader of the Bullet Club. He got Jay White out of New Japan. Yeah, Eddie Kingston has a way of making big things happen here in Kenta thought that he had reset the wrongs of the strong Openweight Championship. Um, Eddie Kingston has a different answer. I don't understand neither the accent. I'm strong Openweight Champion. Man, oh man, would I 
like to see what he can do in the ring against Kenta. You make a good point. Well, that would be a match that I would want to see. That, that's definitely a match the fans clearly want to see. Kenta versus Eddie Kingston. Oh, man. Wow, and that will be a heck of a bout indeed. Congratulations, Kenta. Two-time Stronger Boy champion. And fans, I understand as Kenta makes his way to the back, we have a, a huge announcement coming up. Mita, ne, mata kaite kita orang toko, mata kaite kita ya kore. Eh, mita kawa, kami no ke nanti kiri wajah ne daro konna Amerika mite na, henna toko ya de kiri wajah ne daro orang. Saken ne, kamu soko de orang wakat tano, musbi ya iite, mata mera iite, nanti mau tak kisah nata sero orang. 結びは良かったんだよ最初からえそしたらどう結んだらどうふざけんなよ勝っちゃったよまたふざけんなよあビッグマン悔しいかおいあまたいつでもやってるよ俺たちのライバルストーリー続けるかおいほんでなんだあいつ最後の出てきたやつなんかどこのやつだあれなまってて分かんねえよなんつったのあれ誰え言ったろいつでもやってやるっつんだよいつでもやってやるスタンスだっつんのわざわざあんなところで来んじゃねえよ偉そうにそれもやってるよ方言直してから来いよ普通のアクセントにしてから来いなで結局俺が何が言いたいかっていうとストロングのベルトお帰りってこと